All right, people that wanted a tour of the Catalina 22, it shouldn't take long, right? It's not that big of a boat. <laughs> oh, it's so roomy in here. You could fit 10 people. All right, so it's Saturday morning and we're gonna get the kayaks out and go to the boat because Susie left her sandwich, her sandwich in the boat last weekend, her egg salad sandwich, so I can't leave that rotting. And because enough beer would be too heavy for the kayaks, we will take some tequila. Stopping for some burritos on the way. Well, we got out here today and uh, we couldn't find the sandwich. We looked all over and pulled up the cushion and there it is. It's been out here a week and you know what? It doesn't look moldy at all. Maybe we can still eat it. Mm. <laughs> I made this boom tent, I don't know, three or four months ago. I put grommets in it and everything and I'm gonna try it. So I have the pop top up and by the way, for those of you who have this boat or whatever, you probably already know this, but the boom vang didn't need to be disconnected. Like I disconnected this last time to put the pop top up. You can just release the, um, it's, it's, it's rope and, and loosen it and then it can uh, kind of just sit there like that. So you don't actually have to do as much as I did. Now it looks like I should probably replace these ropes pretty soon. But anyways, let's put this boom um, tent up and see what it looks like. So check it out. Um, man, this worked out really well. I made this boom tent out of this shade sail material. And uh, I put a lot of grommets in the side thinking I would put it on the um, safety line here. And um, I really didn't need to, just the back ones and the fronts is all it needed and it pulled it tight. Now we have this nice shady area rain or something it would protect us from that it's probably like 10 degrees yeah hour. it's just much more livable so if you're hanging out by an island or staying overnight or whatever a boom tent's always a good idea all right people that wanted a tour of the catalina 22 it shouldn't take long right it's not that big of a boat but the stern area. This has the stern railing on it. I think some people take that off for racing. Um, this boat has the main sheet traveler that goes through these cleats, these cam cleats. So, and I have used that and practiced, um, you know, in light and heavy winds to, to adjust it and learn how to do that. Um, there's some hatches back here. One that's just kind of general for anchors or dock lines and um, fenders whatever you want. It's a pretty big area and it goes all the way up into that area. And then this side is going to have a fuel tank and I've upgraded to a six gallon tank which gives us um, about six, five, six hours of motor. And back in there there's lots of room. You could put two people in there. Here in the cockpit, which is big enough for four people, I mean I guess you could fit six if you weren't doing anything, but four people, except when you're sailing, you really only want to have two people in here. Um, there are these little cubbies to put the radio and phones and um, maybe, you know, whatever else you need to grab a horn and stuff like that. So those are really useful. Cockpit drains up here to drain the cockpit. A level gauge I put on and these are the screws that hold on the winch for the, the um, keel, which we have down right now because it's really windy today and we're pitching a lot. So we put the keel down on anchor here. Um, This is what the front of the boat looks like. Enough space up here for 12 people to dance. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the fore stay that holds the front of the mast up. Back stay is going down there. And then there's three on each side here that go up to hold all this the mast up. And um, there's the front hatch 
in the anchor line. This boat has a nice coating um, to walk on so it's non-slip. And then I have a kellet that's on the anchor there. There's a video I made about anchoring. You can watch that if you want. But look at this. It calmed down so much. It's so pretty out here now. It's beautiful. It's quiet. Other than these halyards slapping. One of the things you can do to prevent that is put a bungee like here to this cable and it gets them off there and it stops them if you're sleeping or you're in a marina and you don't want to bother people but we're out here it doesn't really matter and i kind of like kind of like the sound of it too but the boom tents up and the pop tops up you could close this too with the pop top up to get rid of some of the sun if you didn't have a boom tent on okay so in the cabin um back here you have that hatch I showed you. It's pretty cavernous in there. You can store a lot of stuff. And these are um, the crib boards from the opening here. And we keep a fan and some bungees and things. You know, I organize it, but you end up using the space and it gets kind of a little unorganized. I put um, a panel here with some USB ports, cigarette lighter or 12 volt power and a voltmeter so I can see um, what voltage our battery has. Uh, 12.4 volts and then um, that's the crank for the keel and uh, inside here is a battery I've got a fuse block on there now and um, also I put this switch on so I can turn everything off and not leave something on there's a panel over here for the cabin lights and um, some of the other lights anchor lights and things with fuses and then behind this cushion, um, I have my solar panel um, connector for the solar charger. And there's a little cubby there where you can see back under there. And I guess you could store stuff in there, but we don't. Um, there's a hatch under this seat so that uh, you can store things in there. And I don't store anything in that one, but under this hatch here, we store all the oil and lots of tools and things like that. And then this table here, it folds down into a bed and I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute in the same video so you can see how we sleep in here. There's nice, in, in the older models like this before 1986, this is an 84, there's shelves there. And in the newer models, it kind of just goes straight down and they omitted that. But um, we store a lot of stuff up there that we use, so it's kind of nice. We redid this table and everything in a video that was before this. If you haven't seen it, you can watch my other videos. And of course, the front area where you would sleep, I don't really find it useful. It's too small to get up in there, and um, it's much nicer sleeping right here. But we do, I keep the rudder so it's not in the water because I leave my boat in the water. There's a huge storage compartment there. We keep our jib up there in that storage compartment, which I can reach right through there so that when we go to sail I can just reach down and grab it and some other things we just kind of keep up here the life jackets the cooler it's a nice place for that and if I move around here you can see the so-called couch um, that's like the most comfortable seat in here I think you can lay on it take a nap and there's another whole shelf up there where we keep like an extra light and the fire extinguisher and some things that we need to grab quickly um, what else is in here? The windows. I got a new seal kit to redo the seals and the windows. I just haven't done it yet. And under the couch, there is more storage on each of these. Um, there's no hatch there because that's where the kitchen goes in some models. But um, there's pretty good storage. So, you know, there's plenty of places to keep things out of the way in here. Um, but the bottom line is you really just, it's a nice place for two people and that's about it. Oh, one thing I missed while I was inside here is that... Um, this area up here, so it usually has another hatch board right here to make it into its bed. I, I know I'm bad, but I can't think of the name of that right now. But um, so over where this is is where the porta potty is supposed to go. Um, so you kind of like sit there, and then there's even a curtain thing here where a curtain could get pulled, so you could have some privacy. And there's a light over there, which you know when I turn these cabin lights on, the light comes on there. And it lights it up nice at night. And if you're not familiar with sailboats, this is actually, this has to be here because the mast is right there. And, you know, all these cables here are holding the mast up, including 
the fore stay and the back stay cable all holding that mast up and all that weight and pressure comes down and transfers through here so that's what that is um, some sailboats have a mast that goes through the deck all the way into the floor here and you can like see the mast in the cabin on these boats they just had this sweet 70s looking knurled wood all right so to make this into a bed you lift this up and fold the leg in and then you just take it off here put it here like this but once you have this here this is pretty much the sleeping area and look at I mean instead of going up there and trying to fit like my feet have plenty of room and even if I want to lay all the way flat I can do that my wife slept over here and it's enough room really but um oh it's so roomy in here you could fit 10 people and all sleep it's kind of a cozy little place to sleep at night I also wanted to share with you guys a couple cool little things that I have. Um, this is a monocular, so um, it kind of fits the part, right? Being on a boat or a sailboat, you're like checking things out. Instead of having a big pair of binoculars, it takes up a lot of space. This is, uh, you know, you can look just as well through it, but it's smaller. We had this on our other boat and um, we bring it. So it's really convenient to see if we can find our friends on shore or look at other boats and stuff like that. And the other thing that I really like is the solar speaker. I bought this on Amazon and check this out. It's Bluetooth solar. You can play this at full volume as loud as it'll go, which isn't too loud. You know, it doesn't blast you away. It's just a nice volume. You can have it on full volume all day. If it's in the sun, the battery stays 100%. On the back of it, it has charge ports for your phone. We've been using this on our other boat for a couple of years. Um, so it's been in the sand and the salt water and it still works great. Um, the battery still registers as full and uh, it just, I've never seen the battery be anything but 100% on this. So yeah, what a cool invention. You don't have to wear the phone battery out playing your music real loud and it's just the right size. So that works out well too. We stick it up on top of the sliding hatch up there as we're cruising along and it's um, just a cool thing to buy. I think it was maybe $75. I can't remember. The other thing is this book I'm reading right now, Cape Horn to Starboard. Um, this guy took his 32 foot boat on a pretty good journey. It's a good book if you haven't read it and you like sailing books. I have a couple others that I'm reading right now that I recommend, but um, this one's a good one so far. You know, before I bought this boat, um, I saw this guy on a YouTube video talking about making your dreams come true and, and he was he was saying that um, if you want to wait to make your dreams come true until the moment's perfect you may wait and wait and wait and never make it happen and so I say you know don't risk that just do it and make your dreams come true because if you wait for the right moment and it never comes, you'll regret that for the rest of your life. And you know, there's been some ups and downs to towing this boat. I won't wonder what it would have been like to have a sailboat because I bought one and we experienced it. And I think that's really valuable. So I guess the message is don't wait for the right moment to make your dreams come true because that moment may never come. Thank you.